Democrats in the Michigan State Senate are wrapping up perhaps the most active week yet in this young legislative session, making major changes in labor and gun laws and doing it all with practically no votes from Republicans. And political reporter Rick Alvin here to talk about a big package of gun bills passed by lawmakers today. Yeah, and they passed them in really short order, which has not been the case for some of these others. But this was a big deal to get these passed. And all, there were 11 bills passed, all but one that dealt with a sales tax exemption on gun storage equipment, passed with no Republican votes. And all Democrats voting yes. In the simplest form, the bills collectively would mandate safe storage of guns, safes, locks, that type of thing. Provide for background checks for all firearms, not just pistols, and create red flag laws that would allow for guns to be removed from an individual if it was deemed that person was a danger to themselves or someone else. The laws were hailed by Democrats who have repeatedly said the time for, quote, thoughts and prayers is over. We scolded Republicans for not joining them to pass the bills that they say will save lives, while Republicans insist the legislation is paying lip service. Our responsibility in this body is to act in a way to protect people while allowing our citizenry to protect themselves. Our responsibility is to also be honest. Unlike some of my colleagues, I will not pretend that the government can pass laws that will fix evil. And for those that rise in this chamber with the audacity to point their fingers at prosecutors, at teachers, at community members as a justification for not voting for these bills, I would say it is time to do our jobs. Democrats, by holding the caucus together, had no problem passing the gun bills, but because it takes two-thirds of the members to make them take place immediately, even after the House acts and they go to the governor, they won't become law until 90 days after the session end. Well, that's normally going to be in December, but you probably remember what seems like a long time ago now that Democrats passed a bill early in the session to move up their presidential primary next year. That bill, too, lacked immediate effect, but it needed it to be implemented in time for Michigan to move ahead of other states showing their presidential preference. So speculation has been that there could be an early adjournment of the session, maybe a couple of months early to allow for time for that to happen, for that primary to happen. Mind you, it's only speculation, but if it did, it would also mean that these gun laws were set in motion for final approval today would also go into effect sooner as well. One more of the things that we'll be watching in this unusual session, Michelle. All right.